Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite ways to play zone drops or Mabel coverage against Tripside M. I think this is super effective for stopping a lot of the different threats that Tripside M poses to you uh, offensively. And we're going to be talking about this out of the $1.32 defensive ebook. Um, now, if you guys want to get my full version of this $1.32 defensive ebook, it's in the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. That is f available by, by joining our Patreon page. It's only $10 to join the Patreon page, and it will get you access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks as well as all of the updates and all the changes as the years goes on um, you always have the best version of those ebooks so if you're not in the patreon yet i would really encourage you to join it it's only ten dollars and the link's going to be down in the description for this defense right here that we're going to be showing you today what we're going to be doing is we're going to have auto flip defensive play call off we're going to have our auto alignment set to base and then we're going to put our flats on 30 or our and our curl flats on five and then i actually like to leave my zone coverage on default because this is going to make your outside quarters play a little bit lower and they're going to do a much better job against tight end corner routes which is the first and most important thing here now last little tip that i have for you if you're playing someone that runs their trips to the left like all the time or if you're willing to do a little bit of work in game you want to put this isaiah pacheco card or just the shorter uh, corner on the tight end side and he will react better in coverage in Madden 24 especially on the outside shorter players with deep out zone knockout will react significantly better than taller players will now at the safety position I think it's actually an advantage to have taller safeties because they will uh, get a lot more interceptions and pass breakups in the middle of the field. So just a little bit of placebo potentially, but I really recommend a short guy on the tight end side. I think it's very helpful for getting knockouts. We have deep out zone KOs, super important. You need to be rocking deep out zone KOs and deep in zone KOs. It will automatically make your defense better. If you are in regs or CFM, then use a team that has a deep out zone KO. Um, or this defense is still a good concept even if you don't have KO abilities. Okay. Free safety zone blitz. And again, we're coming out in this base line, okay? So the first setup, all we're going to do is we're going to pinch our defensive line. We're going to press coverage. And then really important, you need to do this as soon as you possibly can. You need to back off this corner on the trip side. If you don't back him off, even if, let's say, they're not running... Uh, play action if you don't back him off what a lot of times really uh, advanced players can do is they can actually free form and high point a fade over the top on the left hand side so just just be aware of that that is a threat and we need to honor that threat so we're going to automatically back this guy off from there what we're able to do with this defensively is we're able to create a really really good roll coverage all we're going to do is we're going to cloud flat the outside corner that we backed off we are going to deep half the cornerback or the safety that is on the trip side if you want to outside third him you would need to do the safeties package to me the deep half will do just fine and then we're going to outside quarter the tight end side cornerback over here on the right side and then we're done that's it it's a four-man blitz if you want to, if you only want to send three, then I would really recommend taking this linebacker and manning him up on triangle because if you don't do that, he will hurt you in the seam area of the field. Now, the first and, and really the biggest priority that I have here is to show you this right here. So if someone runs this setup on you, this is a really good setup for trying to attack the right side of the field if you don't have a backed off cloud. But what you'll see here is this outside quarter will play it just enough and and that's in that situation they actually caught it but i'm telling you you will get picks you will get knockouts if you put this outside quarter out there i really like to shade outside i really think that helps this year and then obviously you're going to user the tight end off of the rip here so you're going to go from the tight your lurk essentially here is going to be from the tight end to the running back so what i also like to recommend to people is you can actually man up the running back with your user, and this will make the outside quarter play better against any crossing route or tight end corner. So you'll see here, I'm going to go here. Now we'll look at that quarter. He's able to get there, and that's a KO. A lot of times it's a KO, potentially an interception. Okay, uh, And if they keep going to that, there's obviously adjustments that we do have to stop that in our in our full ebook on this. Um, another really underrated adjustment, I think, is vert hooking this guy right here on the seam. And the reason why is just because 
by vert hooking him, he'll take away kind of the early area that you can throw this, and then the late area should be taken away by that outside quarter defender. So those are a couple of different strategies for defending the corner routes. The one to, the the one corner route you're not going to have to worry about. So the only corner route you're going to have to worry about here is you're going to have to worry about the tight end corner out of verticals. But if they were to go to the curl flat tight end corner, because that tight end corner is super deep, that quarter will play it every single time. Another thing that is really important that we need to talk about here is let's say they go to like a PA counter go uh, style style of setup here so something like this if they go to something like this that quarter is also going to play that because of the fact that we're putting this inside third here uh, or we, we already have it stock on the play what you'll see is this quarter and we're going to get screamed at here of course we got the best splits in the game but the quarter is going to defend the crosser that's the biggest thing i want you to see here and we'll talk about why that's – so you see here, like we would use her that kind of right in here. At this point, about about right in here, we would then bail, and we'd go to this in route. What you'll see, though, is once this hits the numbers, notice the quarter is turning his head because he's looking back to go guard the receiver, okay? Okay, a couple other plays that are very popular. One of the plays that is very, very popular is verticals, and I want to show you kind of the if this, then that that you need to be aware of with verticals. So this is the only play that can really kill you in this, and it's because they can throw this right here, okay? So how do we stop them from throwing that? One of the easiest ways, and it's a little bit of a trick, and I really like this trick against trips players. We're going to set everything up like we talked about, but what we're going to do is we're going to man up the slot corner on the left on the slot receiver. So see how he goes over the top of him? Most good players will understand that you've probably manned him up, right? So what we're then going to do is we're going to re-put him in a curl flat. The reason you do that is because now they're going to go away from that route combo. So typically what they're going to go to in that situation is they're going to go to something like this. Now, if they audible, obviously he resets. So you would want to reset the same adjustment. But what you'll see here is now he's on the purple and they can't throw any flood. Any flood to the left is taken away completely. That's why I also really like to mix in um, that's why I also really like to mix in this adjustment right here where we'll actually be willing to leave this up where we maybe do something like this, right? Just a super simple only adjustment we really made was we quartered the right side and then we manned up the blitzing safety on the middle trips receiver. It looks exactly the same as the Mabel coverage. They're probably going to be expecting a Mabel coverage, right? But now we're doing something a little bit different on the back end. So this is how we can kind of adjust as we go throughout this defense to whatever the opponent is actually doing, okay? So last combo, and I would be remiss if I didn't talk about it, is the slant post combo. Really one of the, I think, probably the combo of combos that Trips tied in is, is famous for. Uh, you're going to have a really good chance at stopping this. And this is also, again, why I love to put a vertical hook here. If they're not putting any tight running back flat um, or if they're really just not really putting the running back on routes, which most people won't, especially if you have a good blitz, the vert hook is a really good adjustment because it will take away the slant late, which allows you to user the tight end all the way across the formation. So that's one of my favorite ways to defend slant post out of this. And then let's say I wanted to kind of heat them up. What I like to do if I want to heat somebody up here, remember our curl flats are on five, but we have a cloud flat that's going to be on uh, 30. So what I like to do is I'm going to blitz this slot corner. I'm going to take the safety over here on the right or on the left, and we're actually going to create cross man. So we're going to go cross man to triangle. We're going to cross man this guy onto circle. And then on the right hand side, we know that if the tight end goes on a vertical, like a post, anything vertical, we have to be ready to defend him. But I still like the quarter. I, I, I really think the quarter is a great adjustment here. Uh, for any kind of tight end corner, you can leave a third if you want, a little bit more aggressive here, of course, but this can do a really good job of just getting some quick pressure out of the same basic look. So you see same basic look, but now we got a really good blitz that's going to be hard for them to stop. Trips tight end is one of the hardest defenses or, or formations, in my opinion, to stop this year. I actually think trips tight end is, in a lot of ways, more difficult to defend than gun bunch because there's a lot more... 
there's just a lot more versatility that trips has. Um, and so you have to have different types of defenses. This is one of my favorite ways to defend it with a Mabel concept over there on the left-hand side. And then once we kind of, you know, as the game goes on here, we can obviously adjust out of this. One of my favorite little adjustments would be to man this guy up onto the triangle receiver here. And then really from there, you know, you can literally just run it like this and kind of risk that outside defender, most of the time they're not going to test you. If they do test you, then you can get into something like this. Super simple little adjustment for trips tied in. Guys, I want to thank you for watching the video. And if you want to get my entire $1.32 defensive ebook that breaks down my entire strategy for defense this year, all my blitzes, everything that we uh, really recommend for you to become a better Madden player, I would really encourage you to sign up for the Patreon. The link's going to be down in the description below. I want to thank you for watching. And to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and uh, go click the link down below.